Hello, Michael from Small Robot Studio here with another Renderman for Houdini tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at how to scatter polygons to a mesh based on points and then apply textures based on the original mesh's UV texture map. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial on how to apply textures in Renderman with Houdini, go back and check that out. So this is basically where we left off with that one. And what we're going to do is create a quick scatter node and apply that at the end of our UV texture. This is just under our object geo node. And then we're going to create a copy two points, Oop. attach our scatter to the right hand side, and then we're going to create a sphere on the left hand side. Make sure you change this to a polygon or a polygon mesh, otherwise the texture will not work with it. And then assign that into the copy two points. And in the scene view, what you'll get is this. Uh, which doesn't look like what we want it to at the moment. So we need to reduce the size of these uh, spheres to say 0.01 Maybe a bit bigger And we'll increase the scatter to 10,000 If you want to um, make it a little bit more of a uniform scatter You can obviously relax the iterations as well, which I'll do just so you can see the texture a little bit easier Once you've done that you can grab um, a point fop and we'll just do that after the scatter go in here and we're going to create a texture node we're going to run the UV out to the UV in and then the color out to the CD input of our geometry VOP output and now when we go to our render view you'll see that our uh, mesh has been replaced with spheres and the spheres are taking the UV texture and assigning it to them based on their size so obviously the smaller your copied uh, spheres are the more detail they have but you'll also have to have, have a lot more scattered um, to get a better performance with a high degree of scattered spheres you may want to consider packing your geometry the pack node and then we can go in here and say increase the total count to 30,000 And reduce our size to 0.02 and then if we render you can begin to see a little bit more of the original texture coming through just slightly that's really all there is to it thank you to our patrons for helping support the channel and bring you tutorials just like this one if you would like to support us and gain access to assets used in tutorials you can head on over to patreon and check out our five dollar tier Help others find this tutorial by clicking the like button and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe as we create multiple tutorials every week for things just like Houdini and Render Man. That's it for now though, thank you very much for watching and happy rendering.